In case you missed the sunrise, don't worry. Thanks to George Gill, we have a beautiful sunrise this morning in Steuben County. But looking at our sky cam now, I don't see the sun at all. We're seeing light rain passing through downtown Fort Wayne. We're seeing little water droplets onto this sky cam, but it's much needed rain. So areas like Kendallville, Auburn, Defiance, Van Wert, Decatur, they saw a very dry month of July and this is much needed rain for them. And guess what? I got some good news for you guys. Not only we're going to see rain today, but all the way until about maybe even Tuesday, we'll see rain chances linger for us. So the best chance will probably be from today through Monday. So let's take a look at our storm track radar. Widespread showers very lightly, but there are some pockets of heavier rain along the border lines between Huntington County and Grant County. But overall, light rain, and that's going to be the, pretty much the story of the morning. We'll see the best chance for rain in the morning and then maybe some isolated showers and towards the afternoon. So here's our future track. Those widespread showers have moved towards the north, so we can still see some rain lingering about lunchtime. Overall, mostly cloudy skies. Expect a drier afternoon, but again, we'll see chances for some isolated rain. Really nothing too much to worry about, but as we get towards into the evening hours, things start to fire back up, especially down towards our south and east. Heavier rain bands, maybe some rumbles of thunder for Decatur, Van Wert, even into Mercer County for Ohio. But as we get into uh, the overnight hours, around 3 a.m. Sunday morning, you start to see a fine line of showers and storms. This will be the best chance we could see some heavier rain around about 4 to about 6 a.m. And we could see some isolated showers lingering for lunchtime for Sunday afternoon. Now, we're not going to see that much rainfall, so it's not going to get us out of the drought. Uh, overall, we'll probably see about maybe about less than half an inch of rain is expected, but some pockets could see maybe uh, an inch or so, depending if they got uh, the heavier pockets of rain. So here's what's going on. This storm system right around down towards our south will make its way towards the northeast. This will bring scattered showers in the morning and then isolated showers into the afternoon. And then as we get into a Sunday afternoon, once the system begins to leave, we could see have a few little showers straggling along moving towards the east. But then we have our next storm system. That will be our rain for Monday, this cold front. And that will bring some more rain. Overall, the severe threat is very low. We're not going to see that much rain for the next couple days, but it is much needed. But if we look down towards our south, we start to see a little tropical system. That is Isaias. And as of right now, it is a category one hurricane with sustained winds at 85 miles an hour. It's moving towards the northwest around 12 miles an hour. It's projected to kind of hug along the coastline of Florida, but I think it might just sideswipe it and then go along the Gulf Stream, potentially make landfall around Wilmington towards the Outer Banks. So if you have any uh, friends or family along the southeast, or if you have any vacations planned, it's something to keep an eye on. You want to be planned for this storm system. But the good news is it's a very fast moving tropical system. So heavy rain is the main threat, maybe some damaging winds. So as we get back through today, we're just going to see cloudy conditions, light rain. We'll see highs around below average into the mid 70s. As we get towards tonight, that second round of showers will move through around about 4 a.m. We'll see lows drop down into the mid 60s and then we'll stay on the cooler track as we'll st stay in around the mid to upper 70s. More sunshine is expected by Wednesday and Thursday, but look at these morning lows into the 50s. Much cooler weather is ahead. Definitely glad to be, be able to finally get some of those lower temperatures. It's been so hot lately. It is a nice relief, especially from that humidity. Most definitely. Thank you for that forecast.